Quack, quack. Oh, wait. No, sorry. Bah! There we go. We're going with sheep this one, okay? So, this one has a little bit of tough vocabulary in here, okay? And I want to talk about that before we begin, okay? So, maybe you've gone through this. Now, uh, if you've gone through this and you're watching this to see how you did, I want you to pause it after I'm done talking and see if you answered why or why not, because that is extremely important. If you just gave me the answer, that's not good enough. You have to tell me why or why not. So if you didn't do that, go back and do it. If you did and you want to check your answer, look at the sentence frame attached uh, with the Google document with this and go check it out and see if yours looks similar to that, okay? Um, make sure you're punctuating your capital letters, you have your periods, you're labeling your um, units, okay? All those things are really going to help you out, all right? So this next one. Farmer Sarah wants to put two sheep in a pen. Oh, that's really nice. They get to have their friend with them. According to farm law, ooh, farm law is serious too, the perimeter of a sheep pen of two sheep has to be at least 100 feet. So that means the perimeter needs to be 100 feet. What does that mean? Does that mean every single side, all of these, all need to be 100? No, this isn't the perimeter. That's just a side length. The perimeter is the whole outside. That means the whole outside needs to be at least 100 feet. Okay? Now, if you're looking at mine, you're like, well, there's only one of the sides given. Okay? If you're stuck there, keep listening. All right? If the pen is a regular hexagon, hmm, hexagon, what does that mean again? Oh, yeah, hexagons have six sides. Well, a regular hexagon, and I know mine's not perfect, it's, it's meant to be, but a regular hexagon has one, two, three, four, five, six sides that are all exactly the same. Oh, that's why she only labeled one of the sides. She's trying to work smarter, not harder, okay? So she labeled one of the sides 15 feet. Um, and she's trying to figure out, does the measurement that Sarah planned follow the law? Remember, what was the law again? It's right, the farm law. Pens with two sheep must, I'm putting that all capitalized, must have a outside, what's a better word than outside? A perimeter of at least 100 feet. Okay, that's our law. We got to see if she's following the law. Okay? If she's not, I don't know what happens. Doesn't sound like it'd be good, though. I never want to break the law. All right, and then we have to explain, does you have it or not? Why or not? Well, for me, it just kind of helps me. I like to label all the sides. Just so I know. 15 feet, 15 feet. Okay, so I have to, what am I going to need to do? So I want you to pause right now if you're here and you're stuck. I want you to pause and try to solve this any way that you would like. Okay, remember it's good to solve it more than one way too. All right, so maybe you're looking at this and you're like, well, I could do 15 plus 15 plus 15. And as I'm writing, how many 15s am I going to need? Yeah, you're right. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Just like one, two, three, four, five, and six. So, adding six 15s is kind of intimidating. That's a lot to do. But again, I see my doubles, and I really like doubles. Okay? So this one I see, oh, 15. It has a 10 and a 10. That's 20. It has a 5 and a 5. That's another 10. 20 and 10 is 30. Well, let's put these ones together. Plus... 30. Put these ones together. Plus 30. It's great because they're all the same. All right. Well, now this became a lot easier. Maybe you know what 30 plus 30 plus 30 is. Okay. And you might say, oh, I already know that that's 90. Well, let's just say you didn't know what it was. Well, let's put these doubles together. 60 plus 30. And then you know it's 90. Maybe you already know how to multiply 15 times 6. Well, 15 times 6 is the same thing as 10 times 6 plus 5 times 6. 
Okay, I just broke my 10, 15, my 15 up as 10 and 5. And then I can do 60 plus 30 again. I'm getting my 90. So I'm showing you a lot of different ways. Okay, well, remember this is 90 feet. The question is not asking us to find the perimeter. If it asked us to find the perimeter and we had 90 feet, we're doing a good job. But I want you to pause and look back. What is it actually asking us? So pause it and look back. Now, we have to answer, does this uh, follow the law? Sorry, Sarah, does not. You're going to need a bigger pen. The law says 100 feet. Ours is only 90. So I want, I'm going to start mine right here. No, the pen is not following the law. I know this because. And I'm going to leave you there to try to finish this on your own. How do you know that this pen does not follow the law? Okay, and then you can go back to the Google Doc and kind of check in. I'll finish that um, on there so you can see how you're doing, but I want you to try it on your own first. Okay. All right, there is a part B for this, but we're going to separate that to the next one. So this was part A of number five.